financial problems, elder law, criminal law, tax problems, business matters, divorce, personal injury, bankruptcy, your life, your reality. Life is complicated. There is the law and there is reality. Welcome to Law and Reality, sponsored by Thav Gross. Now here's your host, Ken Gross. Welcome to this segment of Law and Reality. Today's topic is how to save your home from foreclosure and eliminate credit card debt. Hot topic in an inflationary market. Good morning, Brian Small. Good morning, Ken. Pleasure to be here. And it is a hot topic, and it's going to get to be hotter and hotter. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about that further in the show. It's not time for a commercial yet. Jeffrey Kirsten, good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. How's everything in the disability world? Uh, it's plugging along. Things are getting a little bit smoother for claimants. The laws are getting a little bit harder, but hearings themselves are... Hearings are better? Moving faster? Cases are definitely moving a lot faster. Sounds good. Jim Samasco. Yes, good morning, Ken. Stepping in for Pat. Yes, I am. How are you? It's a pleasure to be here. I I'm know. Good. I heard there's a big victory. Uh, yes, the Court of Appeals did uh, see it our way in one of our cases, which usually happens. We, we like to follow the law. We like to yeah, have winning for, cases. For everyone remembers, we talked. We actually covered a show on this in that there was a Court of Appeals challenge that you guys were the lead on with respect to the issue on Medicare and doing the, I think it was the Quadro in, 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 in the separation case. That's correct. And, and that, so the decision came down four square in your guys' favor? Absolutely. All right, that's great. So we're, on a separate show, we're gonna, we're gonna do a deep dive on that when Pat gets back and we're, we're gonna go over it, but congratulations to you guys, that was a big win. Thank you. So let's talk about foreclosure, eliminating credit card debt. Brian, you're gonna be center stage here, so I hope your game is, you brought your A game today. I did, always. You case know, study. You know, though, what you don't talk about. I don't know what I don't talk about. You don't talk about Bruno. Okay, explain to me about Bruno. No, I'm just going to leave it alone. Keep going. Is this, is this a, like a um, comic figure from an era that I missed? Absolutely. Uh-huh. Who's Bruno? Bruno is a character in a movie that is on Disney, which is... What is the, the name Bruno? It's no, it happens to have been one of the hottest songs in, in the country just a, a few months ago. So, anyway. so once again, I'm not up to speed because I'm burying my head in financial crisis and legal issues and writing briefs and doing things like that. No, possibly because you live under a rock, but that's okay. Okay, so I have to look up Bruno. I will. Okay, does Bruno have a last name? You just go on with the show now. Jessica and Ron. <laughs> is our case study. We'll talk about them instead of Bruno, okay? okay? They're in their mid-40s, combined income 120000 a year. Some good things. Ron is back to work after being off due to COVID shutdown. They have a home in Farmington Hills, market value 375 high mortgage 350000 They have an IRA for 150000 cash in the bank 7500 bucks. Looking pretty solid, not bad. Bad things. Uh-oh. They're 10 months behind on the mortgage. Uh, they took a forbearance during COVID, and then they have not been able to catch up. Their mortgage payment's 2600 <laughs> so they're 26000 behind, and they have $100,000 of credit card debt. Okay, so that's, now, not, that's now not, so not so pretty. Not so pretty. Okay. Not so pretty. Jerry, the bartender, enters center stage. Jerry, who they rely on for financial personal advice on a regular basis at the local pub has given them a proposed solution to their problem. Oh, I can't wait to hear he that. He says, if you cash out your IRA on the 150000 you can still avoid the 10% penalty because of the COVID rule that they put in place. You can pay off your credit cards, pay off the mortgage arrearage, 
and you can save your credit store score and any stigma that goes with bankruptcy. Wow. Jerry's thought this out thoroughly. Jerry should continue to pour martinis and shut his mouth. Well, so you're saying you disagree with Jerry? I 100% disagree with Jerry. There's, there's, there's nothing in that piece of advice that has any logic whatsoever. Uh, I'm surprised you didn't say buy Kino lit tickets. Yeah, oh, well, that, that could, you could win a lot of money if you play Kino. You can't win if you don't play. That's well, right. I, I have to challenge you on a couple points. Number one is, I know from your M.O. that you must talk to a lot of Jerry's. Because it's not unusual for you to have a drink at a bar, correct? Uh, so you must talk to bartenders. So, or when you go to the bar, not you... unusual for me to have a drink at the bar. Mm, okay, when no. was that? No. What, what else are you gonna do there? Oh yeah, I mean, eat dinner, have a well, cocktail. Do you, that's fine. Do you talk to the bartender? Are you personable? I am personable. Okay, so bartenders have a wealth of knowledge, wouldn't you? They're trying say? to sell you more drinks. Yeah. Okay. All right, so I'm, I'm being facetious, but what Jerry is saying, would you agree with me, is not unusual for not only would Jerry, <coughs> Jerry may have said this, but a mortgage broker would tell them the same thing. Mortgage brokers say it, but you know who wouldn't say it? The guy who's managing the IRA, he won't say it. It's, it's he all, won't say it because he doesn't want to see the IRA. He doesn't want to see the assets under management disappear. So the, the, at the end of the day, what you're getting when you go to Jerry is Jerry's got this idea and he may, and it on some level it actually theoretically makes sense until you really dive into it. Because Jerry doesn't, it doesn't have a vested interest here. Jerry isn't the broker, the mortgage broker wants to sell you a new mortgage. And wants you to refinance. The investment advisor wants to keep your assets under management. Okay. So all right, here's the analysis. But but nevertheless, Jerry is wrong, correct? A hundred percent. Okay. Here's the on the screen, this is what happens with Jerry's thing. Right now, before Jerry, we got seventy-five hundred in the bank. We got one hundred fifty thousand uh, uh, dollars in the IRA plus the house. We have a net worth of eighty-two five. After Jerry's solution, we still have seventy-five hundred in the bank. We have zero IRA. The mortgage is now three twenty-four because we've paid it down, the arrearage, and our net worth is fifty-eight thousand five hundred. So we've gotten rid of the debt. Yeah. But our net worth has gone from 82.5 to 55. Well, you got to you got to pay the bill. A, we're going to take a break and then we're going to come back and we're going to analyze this. Carrying too much debt? Resolve your debt. Call Fav Gross. You don't need to be broke and you don't need to hit rock bottom. If you have income and you're struggling with debt, Dump it. Think about the next 10 or 20 years. If you do what the banks tell you, you'll have nothing to retire with. There is a solution. Don't waste your future. Call Fav Gross. We're experts at eliminating credit card debt. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. Tax problems are major problems. Don't let the IRS levy your wages and seize your assets. There is a solution. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. If you're behind on your taxes and owe money to the IRS, call Fav Gross. We've been solving tax problems for 32 years. We stop wage levies, resolve unfiled returns, and obtain the best possible settlements. Call Fav Gross today, 888-235-HELP. You can't work. You have to deal with pain and stress. Worse yet, our system for applying for disability benefits seeks to deny you the benefits you're entitled. Jeff Kirshner is an expert in obtaining disability and workers' compensation benefits for his clients. You need to call Jeff before you apply or after you're denied to get the benefits you deserve. 888-235-HELP. 888-235-HELP. I was married for 57 years before my husband died. Samasco Law had established a trust for them before this happened. There's so much to do in the beginning, but after about a month, you're kind of alone. We deal with estate planning and trusts every day. If you continue to have good support and know that your finances and your estate is in order, that's one thing that's so comforting. I would just highly recommend some Escola. Is the debt piling up? Struggling to get by? It's all about preserving future income. 
Bankruptcy is one option. When it's right, it's the least costly, most effective way to save your home, eliminate a second mortgage, and wipe out credit card debt. But you need to address the problem now. We help people with bankruptcy. Call the experts. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. If you're retired and in a financial crisis, there is a way out. It pains me when I see a retired couple exhaust their savings by paying credit card bills and for a home hopelessly underwater. Thav Gross specializes in helping retired people in financial crisis. You just can't keep paying until you're broke. You need to address the problem now. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. We're back. All right, so at the break, I just want to say, Jeff and I did some research on Bruno. Bruno first appeared as a Disney character all the way back in 1950 in the form of Cinderella's pet bloodhound. A loyal and loving pet to Cinderella, Bruno is in constant battle with Lady Tremaine's pet cat, Lucifer, and their bickering frequently gets him sent out of the house. Bruno's a character in Encanto, which is the new newest Disney film. Is it the same Bruno Magical we're talking about? It's it's maybe the same name, but it's not the same character. Okay. And you never heard of Bruno? Never. Had you ever heard of Bruno? No. So maybe you need to work a little harder and watch a little less Disney. Okay, now let's go back to the show. If it was appropriate to it's be not. sticking my middle finger up. No, it's not. It's, it's, it's not a, even in this state of affairs, in this world we live in, that is still not appropriate, at least on this show. All right, so back to Jerry's analysis. So they got rid of the debt, but their net worth went down. Right, and, and they're going to... The biggest problem with having their net worth go down is not that they won't recover it, over the long period of time is that they took that $150,000 retirement IRA which now just to get back to having 150 in their IRA is going to take an extremely long time versus the fact that 150 at interest because growing you're only putting 15,000 a year away into the IRA anyway. Right. So but that 150 it's going to take them 8 9 it's going to take them 9 years to get back to there. It'll but take them the, a lot longer. Yeah, and yeah, because now you put the money in and it goes down. It doesn't go right. up in value. No, but the, the 150 the money's not continuing to grow. Yeah, right. Their 150 that was already there was continuing to grow and would continue to grow, and they've got to yeah, start back at zero. Yeah, in 10 years, that 150 would be more like 400, plus they're adding 15 more right. a year each year. Yeah. So they just shot themselves in the foot, even though they they, they got rid of their debt. They just they they clobbered their retirement. Mm -hmm. All right. So is there a better alternative? Actually, probably Chapter 13 bankruptcy in this situation. All right, before we get there, what about Jerry's comments? Save your credit score and you don't want the stigma of bankruptcy. First of tell all, about, tell me about the credit scores. There is no stigma of bankruptcy anymore. There really isn't. It's, it doesn't impact you beyond the fact that you are already maxed out on your credit anyway, right? So you're not getting more credit until you do something. In this case, eliminating the debt will get you Plus your back credit to score a, recovers. Yeah, your credit score will heal and get better well, and better and better. Well, that from bankruptcy to credit score by, by, by my error. But here's the stigma. It's not stigma of filing bankruptcy. There is a stigma that exists, and it's an important one. The stigma is you do not want to be 70 years old and broke and unable to live in retirement. You, the stigma of being dependent upon your children in retirement is a far greater problem to bear than this worry about a bankruptcy. First of all, you file bankruptcy, nobody knows. No, no, really. The you only don't people, even go to court, do you? Well, there is court. But you do it? Court these days is, it on the via, phone. is via Zoom or yeah. on the phone. Yeah, it's, it's, it's made simple. It's, it actually improves privacy. Is it a public matter? Yes, of course it's a public matter. However, Unless you, tell, unless you tell somebody. They have to dig to find it anyway. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's going to show up on your credit report. Okay, great. Two years later, your, your credit score is back to normal. You're, you can get mortgages. You can get car loans. You'll get credit cards. In this case, what they, they have is the need to get out of debt and the need to keep their IRA all at the same time. 
All right, so let's talk about Chapter 13. What do you do with the mortgage? <clears throat> How does Chapter 13 work for them? So, so their biggest problem is, is what's the most important debt? They want to keep their home. If they didn't want to keep their home, they could sell their house and possibly deal with their credit cards through debt resolution or through... Well, should they sell their house, take the equity if they had enough and just pay off the credit cards? Never. Because that defeats the equity in the house. Right, and it, again, hurts their net worth. But in this case, we can restructure... Wait, let's stop on that for a second. See, because we're making a big point that's easy to miss. What we're saying is, if you've got... Let's say you had 150000 of equity in your home. And in that circumstance, which they don't because it's in their IRA, you don't want to just sell the home, take the 150 and pay off the credit cards dollar for dollar. You can do that. And some people would argue that that's the right way to handle something. But we would argue differently because your equity in your home, if you have any, your IRAs, these are the two key factors that build towards a retirement. And if you have been able to start to accumulate funds in that direction, you don't want the problem of getting rid of credit card debt to eliminate that savings, to eliminate that retirement. Because there's other avenues of getting rid of credit card debt for less than paying a dollar for dollar to eliminate. Well, what you're also missing, though, is the fact that, okay, you sell your home, you take the equity, you pay off the credit cards, you have to have some place else to live. Where's the money to go somewhere else? Yes, you'd have to buy because you, 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 you need that money going to the rental market. Right. Yeah. Well, you may not have a choice either. Yeah. And in, their, in, in, in Jessica and Ron's case, they don't have equity in the house anyway. It's the IRA, IRA. So how do you take care of the mortgage? So Chapter 13 allows you to restructure your debt. And so we've got $26,000 arrearage on the house, which the mortgage company now is saying, pay us, pay us, or we're going to foreclose. Through Chapter 13, we can take that same $26,000 and spread it out over five years at no interest and force the mortgage company to accept it. So rather than having to come up with $26,000 immediately, they have to come up with $430 a month, $433. For 60 months. For 60 Plus months. Plus make their current payment. Yes, but they also won't have to pay their credit cards. Well, how could, why? Because the least important debt is an unsecured debt in Chapter 13. And in Chapter 13, we can pay it as little as zero cents on the dollar. And you're suggesting that Mr. Visa is the least important debt? I 100% guarantee it. Well, what about Mr. MasterCard? Mr. MasterCard is right there, Ty. Let's take a break. We'll be back and decide who's first, Mr. Visa or Mr. MasterCard. Is the debt piling up? Struggling to get by? It's all about preserving future income. Bankruptcy is one option. When it's right, it's the least costly, most effective way to save your home, eliminate a second mortgage, and wipe out credit card debt. But you need to address the problem now. We help people with bankruptcy. Call the experts. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. If you're retired and in a financial crisis, there is a way out. It pains me when I see a retired couple exhaust their savings by paying credit card bills and for a home hopelessly underwater. Thav Gross specializes in helping retired people in financial crisis. You just can't keep paying until you're broke. You need to address the problem now. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. Time for announcements. I want to remind our viewers to listen to us for Law & Reality Live on the Praise Network, Tuesdays 10 o'clock a.m. and Saturdays 7 o'clock a.m. and on KISS 105.9, Sunday 7 o'clock a.m. We have a live seminar coming up. Our next one is on Wednesday, September 28, 6 to 7.30 p.m. Do your estate plan before it's too late. We're going to go over the elements of an estate plan, how to avoid probate, key planning points you need to know. Attendees receive a gold certificate for $300 off the cost of an estate plan. Sign up at thavgross.com, lawandreality.com, or call 888-235-HELP. The cost of the seminar is free. It's a great opportunity to put that estate plan in place that you need to do. Take advantage of it. Call. Be sure and sign up. Seminars fill up fast. 
We're going to remind you, you can always come in at Thav Gross for a free consultation. We do them via teleconference, in office, anytime you want to do it, whatever is your comfort zone, we're happy to accommodate you, giving that we're kind of coming out of COVID, but people are still have still have some concerns. Just call 888-235-HELP or go online to sign up for a free consult. Debt issues, tax issues, estate planning issues, business issues, elder law issues with Pat, disability issues with uh, Jeff Kirshner. Again, sign up at wanreality.com or thavgross.com or call 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. Also, check out our website for free reports, Resolving Tax Problems, The Real Solutions by myself and Jeff Linden, Bankruptcy Is It Right for Me by Brian Small, How to Save Your Home from Foreclosure, Business Formation Loans and Grants for Small Businesses in Detroit and Michigan, The Retiree's Guide to Social Security from Pat Samasco. I want to thank our sponsors, Thav Gross, Samasco Law, Kirshner Law. Now back to the show. Tax problems are major problems. Don't let the IRS levy your wages and seize your assets. There is a solution. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. If you're behind on your taxes and owe money to the IRS, call Thav Gross. We've been solving tax problems for 32 years. We stop wage levies, resolve unfiled returns, and obtain the best possible settlements. Call Thav Gross today, 888-235-HELP. Carrying too much debt? Resolve your debt. Call Thav Gross. You don't need to be broke and you don't need to hit rock bottom. If you have income and you're struggling with debt, dump it. Think about the next 10 or 20 years. If you do what the banks tell you, you'll have nothing to retire with. There is a solution. Don't waste your future. Call Fav Gross. We're experts at eliminating credit card debt. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. We were just spinning. We just didn't know what was going to happen next. At Samasco Law, we deal with these issues every day, especially elder law. Pat went to work for Fran. Patrick was there holding my hand, kept saying, we'll get through this, we'll get through this. He got her husband Medicaid and in a nursing home. Samasco Law got the success they deserved. Samasco Law is definitely family to me. I really appreciate knowing all of you. Is the debt piling up? Struggling to get by? It's all about preserving future income. Bankruptcy is one option. When it's right, it's the least costly, most effective way to save your home, eliminate a second mortgage, and wipe out credit card debt. But you need to address the problem now. We help people with bankruptcy. Call the experts. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. All right, so I understand you're, first of all, it's, Mr. Visa and Ms. Mastercard. Okay, you're saying they, they get they're the least important. But how, how do you... unsecured creditors are the least important. So, so, so they, never get, bill, they never get anything in a Chapter Thirteen. They sometimes get something. They get the leftovers. The, we pay the most important creditors first. That would be your mortgage, then your car, then theoretically the Internal Revenue Service so and, the, and the state of Michigan. What drives the train? How much you can afford to pay? Yes. Based on your income? Yes. All right, so based on their income for Jessica and Ron, the credit cards wouldn't get anything in this case? No, maybe maybe a tiny little bit. Just not, not curious, how is that determined as to who to have the priority? So, well, that's it. There's the priority. There's an order of payment of claims, which is de uh, codified in the bankruptcy code. It tells you that secured creditors get paid first, Priority creditors, like the company. priority creditors like the state of Michigan and the IRS, if the taxes are less than three years old, get paid second. Then you can classify other creditors differently. Uh, alimony claims, Who's property last? settlements, unsecured creditors are at the bottom. And unsecured creditors are Visa, MasterCard, credit cards, medical bills, anything, Personal that's, loans, not, anything, anything that's not secured. Right. All right. So based upon their income, you're, before their before filing, they were negative twenty four hundred dollars a month because they were paying twenty six hundred dollars for their or twenty five hundred dollars for their credit cards, four hundred utilities. The thing they get rid of in the chapter thirteen is they're not going to pay anything on their credit cards, right? Right. Basically, what we're doing is is we take a look at their income. We go, here's your income. Here's all the expenses that are allowed by the court. What's left? Whatever's left 
is that enough money to fix the mortgage problem? So the first question is, we look at is, is that true? We know that we need $433 a month to fix a $26,000 problem. Yes. Is there anything left over after that? Let's say there's... Well, here I've got $167 okay, left over. So $167 is left, and that would be used fees. to pay fees and costs. And But at the do, end of the day... Do your attorney fees get paid out of that? They do. Yeah. So it's not even... So that's, that just shows how good the Chapter 13 is, is the cost of the Chapter 13 is really effectively borne by your creditors. It is, because if... if my fees, they get less money. If my fee is zero, the creditors get more money. If my fee is a million dollars, they get less. They get less money. Right. So they're paying your fees. They are paying the fees effectively. Okay. That's correct. All right. So here's where. So at the end of five years, three years, five years, but in this case, fives. They've eliminated all the credit card debt. They're current on their house, and they're. And their budget and their income covers their expenses. It does. Okay, so let's look and see where they come out. Way ahead. If we go back to where we were when we talked with Jerry at the beginning, they still have the $7,500 of cash in bank. We just kept that as a constant. Their IRA is now worth $191,450. I've given it growth at 5% over those five years without, without making additional contributions. That's reasonable. Okay. The house I left at the same 375. The balance on the mortgage is now down to 300 because they've paid down, you know, for five more years on principal. They have zero credit card debt. Their net worth is 273,950 bucks. Now shift back to what Jerry the bartender said and what we agreed the mortgage broker would also tell them to do. What was their net worth there? $58,500, something like that. The difference between the two is, it's not a close call. That's $225,000 difference. It's the difference between making a fatal mistake and making the right move. And that's, that's problematic in a lot of ways. People do not realize it, and professionals do not do an adequate job of telling them that they need to explore that option. Well, more professionals, accountants, mortgage brokers, bartenders, are going to be telling people to refinance cash in the IRA. They're not going to be saying, explore your options through bankruptcy. And in this case, the difference is night and day, life and death, retirement versus no retirement. Final words. 100% correct. Make sure if you're facing a problem like this, Come see us. Don't listen to Jerry the bartender. Have a great week. We'll be back next week with Law and Reality.